Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon and welcome back to RuneScape. So we're here at the water altar, or at least I, I think it's the water altar. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so I need to use the, the Lunar Staff Part 2 on here. Fantastic. And then I think the final one is this one to the east of Varrock. I think. But I don't quote me on that. Uh, now that I think about it, I think I might be wrong about that, but, uh, I think it's the one over here, but I don't remember. It also may have moved because of the addition of the, the archaeology stuff, but I think it's this one. I think. <laughs> I think that one used to be a different one, like, unless my brain is just completely remembering, misremembering these because I don't do it very often. Uh, I, I have a feeling I just don't remember what I'm doing here. Alright. Oh, I got some shiny knights over there. Wait, why are the... Who are these people? Elf warrior, white knights. What's going on here? Have those guys always been here? That feels new to me. I don't remember those guys being there before. Oh, hello. Electric impling. I'll take whatever it is you're trying to get rid of. Come on. And got it. Goldstone spirits. Cool. I still need to get my hunter level up and, you know, as much as I can do without actually have to training hunter. Especially since I'm literally just running around doing whatever. And I can just randomly manage to get that done. That, that's a great thing. Okay, uh, enter Mysterious Ruins. I think this is the Earth Altar. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright. And let's use the Lunar Staff on the Altar. Ooh. Oh, that changed drastically. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's put some of this extra stuff back in the bank. I'm going to keep the Emerald Lantern because I don't know if I'm going to need it. But I can put away the Talismans, I think. And this Goldstone Spirit. And this Gold Charm. So we'll do that before I continue here. And then, uh, yeah. Lunar Staff. That is so cool. Alright. So now we're soon going to be able to do the Lunar Magics. Which I have never done. Uh, let's put these away. And I can remove this drum and staff placeholder. I can add a new placeholder for that. Also, um, where's my other lantern? It's down here. I wonder if we're going to eventually get like a ruby lantern and a, a ruby lantern and a, and a diamond lantern. That would be interesting, right? Oh, and let's put away the, the stone spirits here. There we go. Um, alright. Now I can teleport back here. I'll, I'll soon be able to teleport to the, the Lunar Island. Although, I don't know what... I don't know what else is up there that's necessary for Lunar... The Lunar Island? Or, like, Lunar lunar stuff? Um, I don't know what's up there that would be... That I would need to use the lodestone so frequently. The lodestone I do want to get is the one in the desert. Um, and I need to get some other quest for that one, too. How many lodestones do I have left? I have three left, don't I? Because I, I need the, um, the elves lodestone. And the... Oh, four. The Tyranwin and the Frifdenus. And the Lunar Isle. And I'm about to get the Lunar Isle one. We go here, and then... From here, do I go back? How do I get back onto the island? Do I just have the captain take me back there again? I guess. Where's the captain? Where's the captain? There he is. Oh, I just hit travel. Okay. Cool. I guess he's just willing to take me back there and back anytime I need. Sounds good to me. Oh, I'm probably gonna need- you know what? I bet the- I bet the- 
Um, I bet the the clothes that I need, I'm going to have to kill some of those monsters for. I'm going to have to kill some of these for that. The Suqua. The Suqua. 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. I got the dream, or I got the, I got the staff. Hi. Managed to get the drawman staff enchanted? I have indeed. Well done. Pass it here. We can now get to the next stage. Your suit. There are eight parts to this. Which would you like to hear about? Oh, I need all of it. Okay. The helm. Then he's made from an ore you can only get from the mine on this island. You'll see some stalagmite, stalagmites you can mine from. The cape. Uh, there should be one of these floating around the village somewhere. Talk to some of the village and I'm sure she will be able to help you. The amulet. You should go speak with Meteora. She always seems to be wa wearing one on her head for some reason. She might give that to you. Oh, whoops. Uh, the torso. You'll find a monster- oh, hides. Okay. That's what I- that's what I thought. I should have kept those hides. The gloves. Uh, okay. I guess I'm gonna- a lot of these are gonna be for that. Yeah, the Suqua. And then the trousers, I'm also assuming is gonna be in- yeah. Okay, but the- the ring is gonna be different. Celine, she'll be able, she always have bits and pieces of like that hanging around. All right, so let's kill a bunch of these guys. Grab, I should have kept their stuff, but they're not that hard to kill, so I don't think it's that big of a problem. How much is a squa suqua tooth worth? Twelve GP, also not really worth keeping. All right. How many hides am I gonna need? Uh. Do I have to tan the hides? How do I... How do I make these into something? An untanned... Okay, so I do have to tan them. Alright. I'm just gonna grab... So, let's see. How many usually would I need for this kind of thing? Um... It's usually three for... Three for a torso and pants, and then one or two for the gloves, usually. So let's, um, I don't know, we'll get 15 of them. I get that should be enough to, that should be enough. Uh, because I'd, I'd rather, you know, tan them all at once. If I don't have to, I don't have to leave and come back. All right, I'm gonna have to kill this guy and then kind of run away so I can, I can get rid of all these teeth. Do I get experience for grinding the teeth? Uh, I do. All right, I'll grind the teeth and then I'll dismantle them, because then I get a little bit of extra experience. That works for me. Fantastic. And then we'll kill three more of these guys. Um, that should be enough for... That should be enough for the whole outfit. Hopefully, I think. I, I Do I have to take these to a regular tannery? I don't know. Alright, that should... Um, one more guy... That should be enough inventory space to be able to fight the- to be able to get it. And you're dead. Nope, don't, please. Cool. Alright. I did it. Maybe. Alright, let's grind a couple of these. And get a couple of these. There's no one here in- oh, there's a- there's a clothing store. Maybe, maybe I can buy, maybe I can tan the leather at the clothing store? 
trade. Moon Clan armor. Are these really the ones that... Am I going to have to... Are those the ones that I'm going to have to make? Because I could just make those... I could just buy them there. All right. Well, I'm going to go to the Tanner in al -Karid, And then maybe from there, um, we'll, we'll figure out how to do that. They might be different armors. I'm, I'm not going to... Because, I mean, I literally could have just bought them all there if that's how that was. But they wouldn't make me go on a whole quest for it if I could just buy it there, would they? You know what? They would. <laughs> There's quite a few quests where you could just finish the quest by buying a thing. Tan hide. Um, I can't use the Suqua hide on him. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. How do I tan these? Okay, hold on. Uh... Suqua hide. Oh, they have to be tanned by someone in the... In the island. Oh man, I'm dumb. I should have- I should have thought about that. Alright, let's do that. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this quest in this episode. I have no idea if I will though, so we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, like I said before, I'm doing one episode or one finishing one quest or recording two episodes every day. This is the second episode I'm recording today. So if I don't finish this quest in this episode, I will record another episode today. Um and we'll <laughs> we'll go from there. Alright. Let's once again go back to the island. Uh, travel to Pirate's Cove. It would be nice to have the, you know, it's really funny though, because like some of these things, it's like there's, a, you get a teleport to that location as a reward for finishing it. But then at the same time, I may not ever use it because I may not have to come back here. Then again, there's probably quests after, after this that require you to come to the Moon Clan Island. So I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And we are here yet again. And plonk and plonk our way down over here. Okay, so who am I talking to here? Oh, I do have to- she is the one I have to tan it. Okay. Hello there. Welcome to the clothes store. How might I help you? Uh, you know the ceremonial clothes? I certainly do. A real tricky set of garments to make. Well, that's unfortunate because I was hope asking how I might get about getting some. I can really help you with the tanning of the hides. Sorry? Ceremonial clothes are made from the hides of the squaw. Bring them to me and I will tan them for you. You can then craft them into top trousers, gloves, and boots. Okay. It's an interesting creature, the squaw. You see, they have been indigenous to the island since we arrived. They seem to thrive on eating the minerals that exist in the mines below the town. We try our best to live in harmony with them because they provide us with a great many materials when they die. And in turn, we have given them magic to help protect themselves. Interesting. Um... How can I... Can I get her to tan... Can I u Do I have to use them on her? Do you have any use for these squaw hi teeth or hides? Most certainly. The hides are great for making clothes, and the teeth are particularly useful for brooches, necklaces, and the like. But I won't accept them from anyone. You need to complete the Fremenic Elite tasks to unlock this fa Excuse me, what? Can I... Can you tan these for me? Uh... Will, will she not tan these? Um... Do you know the ceremonial clothes? Yes, please. Oh, okay, yeah. Seems like a fair deal. Okay, that was what I was supposed to do. I just had to do it again. I saw that bucket and I thought it was a <laughs> thought it was a penguin. Um torso. Oh, they were one each, really? Gloves, boots, and 
Oh, I... I was doing... Okay, well, let's, uh... I got a lucky dip ticket. Fantastic. So I got half of the things. So that's a, that's a bonus. Um... Let's, uh... Let's see. Torso... Oh, the helm. Um... Oh, wait. I was supposed to talk to some of the other people here. So, I need to talk to Celine and... Uh... Celine and Meteora. Hello there. Greetings, sweetie. How can I help? I'm looking for a ring. Well, there are a great many rings, darling. Try to be more specific. It's to go with the ceremonial clothes I need for visiting the dreamland. Ah, I see. I'm afraid, but I don't have one of those, but... I do know that my grandfather had such a ring. He passed away a long time ago. There's a chance he buried it, though. Buried it? Why would he do a thing like that? Well, he's an archaeologist. Well, more of a treasure hunter. When I was little, he always used to bury items around the island and give me clues and maps to find them. If you're lucky, you might find one of those rings. It's worth a shot. Remember these days fondly. Hours of digging around, dodging boulders, pits of snakes. Uh, about that ring. Ah, yes. That's the clue I've written down here. It says, From the water's source, you should follow, crossing the westernmost ridge and traveling further south westerly to a bloom of blue. Thanks, I hope. Uh, the source of the water. So would then the source of the water be... Um, be the up here? And then travel along the ridge to a bloom of blue. Would that be... One of those flowers there? Alright, well, let's see. It's one of these flowers, and I don't know which one. Uh... Oh, it's not gonna tell me. Uh, let's see. She said the source of the water. Uh, along the ridge... I'm gonna- I'm just gonna dig at, um... Oh, can I not stand there? The ridge, a bloom of blue. Um, I'm gonna ask her that again, <laughs> to be honest. I need to- I thought I- I thought I had that down, but apparently I did not. Kind of sucks that I- some of the- because I was- some of the things they just kind of put in the- in the- the quest log, and some of them they don't. Um, about that ring. Yes, uh, from the water source, follow, crossing the westernmost bridge, traveling southwest to a bloom of blue. Okay, the westernmost bridge, um, south to a bloom of blue, so it's like right over there. Okay, no, I was, I was right, it was just on the other, other side of the water. Alright, that works for me. It's, uh, it's off over here somewhere. Did she say southwest or southeast? Oh, the westernmost bridge. That is... One of these over here. <laughs> um, I'm assuming that's the westernmost bridge. Is this one over here? Uh, okay. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's on these flowers here. This one has more... This one has more flowers than most of them. You found the lunar ring! Fantastic. Uh, also, I need to get to a mine somewhere? I don't know where the mine is. Whoa! Hold on. I didn't know the squaw could use lunar magic. Whoa, okay. That's what that was. The freezing spell that just happened on me, that's lunar magic. Um... The Lunar Magic used to be really good for playing, like, uh... For playing Castle Wars. Because you could just freeze the opponents in place for a while. Oh, there is a... There is a penguin here. Oh, I guess there's a... This is a quest requirement for one of the... Um... Is there a... Is there a mine here? Hold on, I don't... 
Oh, there is a mine. Okay, so it's up here. Uh... I don't want to kill you guys. Could you... Um... Oh man, they are doing a lot of damage to me. Uh, where... Where is this mine? Oh, it's the ladder. Okay. I don't know, the, it wasn't showing up on the map. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Wow, they do a ton of damage. There we go. I have unlocked a new... Oh, it's a Rune Essence mine. Um... Fallen man. Oh, how do I get into there? Crawl through cave, cave entrance. Oh, okay. I guess that's the start of a quest. Stalagmites. There we go. Oh, I see. Okay. I can see why people would teleport here now. Okay. So now I use this. How many of these do I need? I'm assuming I need one. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's do this. So, I now have- I need three more, yeah? I need the- the necklace, and this is for the helmet. I need the necklace, and the helmet, and one other thing. What is that other thing? What is the other thing that I need? I love that that's just swinging in the wind. Um, is there somewhere on here where I can get this smelted? Or am I SOL here? Whoa, did she just- was that Ariane that just teleported away? Oh, and the cape. That's right. I need the cape. But let's talk to... Let's talk to Meteora here. You may have, uh... Hi, say, that's a nice amulet you're wearing. What? On your head. I ain't got no amulet on me, Ed. You have, I can see it. That's a replacement for Lucky Tiara, yeah? Your Lucky Tiara? What happened to it? Uh, it's bad, yeah? One of those squad did nick it. Wish I had it back then, yeah? I'll see what I can do, yeah? I mean, I'll see what I can do. Good. So do I have to just kill one of the Sukwa? I guess, maybe? Um, also, I need to get a, a cape from one of these people. Hello there. How may I help you? I have a question. No. Uh, you're not who I need to talk to. This lady up here maybe may be the cape. Oh, Celine's got a cape. I have the ring! Good for you. Okay, yep. I'll, they can only help me once. I'm on the lookout for ceremonial clothing. I can visit my dreams. I don't suppose you could help me out? Ah, uh, I know the ceremony very well. Maybe I can help. I have a cape. But why would I want to give it to some random person off the streets? Because you're a kind person and helping people in need? Nice try. I've always been glad to help a person in need. They can demonstrate some insight. I'm listening. How about you try to guess my name? Hmm. Pauline? Ah, oh, you'd think so, but no, that is my alias. I want you to tell me my real name. I have one first name and a triple barrel surname. Oh no, can you give me some kind of clue? Let's see. Okay, change a letter from the word Dane to get my first name. The first part of my surname rhymes with wood. The third part rhymes with spade and the second rhymes with magic. So, Dane Wood Spade Magic? Uh, Dane Sane? Uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, Jane. Jane. Blood Magic. Hagic Maid. Uh, that's it. Well done. Woohoo! That's not a uh, most normal name, is it? It's not my fault my parents had an overactive imagination. Sounds like they were totally insane. Do you want this cape or not? 
Sorry, yes, please. Okay, so there's that. And how do I use the ore? Do I, I, oh, hold on. I see a, I see an anvil back here. Maybe I can do something with it from there. Can I just smith it at the anvil? Oh, I had to open the door. Do I have to refine it or can I just smith it at the anvil? Um. Uh. Use the lunar ore on the anvil. It, it did a thing. But it's not a thing that I can other. Uh, miscellaneous equipment, energies and essences. Yeah, none of that's helpful. I, I need to know how to, I need to know how to actually do it. Um, one, so I need the helm and the necklace. That's right. So I need to kill one of these guys or is it, or did, is it found somewhere? Like, do I have to look for it in a thing? All right, let's attack this Sequa. See if it drops a, a tiara. There we go. The tiara. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ask her about the the helm. Um, lunar clothes. I've got the torso. I've got the trousers. Okay, she's just gonna take them all for safekeeping. I've got the cape. And the ring. Uh, I need to hear about the helm. The helm is made from the only, uh, you'll need some stalagmites you can mine from. Is that it? I guess at some point I need to... I need to leave the island and go to a... Go to a furnace somewhere? So I can... Smith it, I guess. I don't think there's one here on the island anywhere. At least not that I can see. Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to leave. Um, all right. Well, I've got the I've got the tiara, so we can do that. Meteora, I got your tiara. What? Hi. Yo, yo, yo. You got me tiara yet? I have indeed. Want to trade? Sure, yeah. Give me it, yo. Perfect. Uh, now let's teleport to Lumbridge so I can throw this in a furnace. And then I guess I'm going to make the helmet from that. And then we'll be done with that. This, well, this section of the quest. I have a feeling like there's a whole other section here. Especially since I haven't done anything with the... These doodads. Alright. Oh, I, did, I used the spade. I haven't used the, the, the runes yet. Uh, use the lunar ore on the furnace. Smelt lunar ore, yes. And use the lunar bar on the anvil. Yes. Cool. All right, I now have all the things necessary to continue this quest. I think. Uh, actually, before we go, I'm gonna put these charms in the bank. And I might as well put the spade and the thread in the bank too. There we go. And kind of just clear it out a little bit. I have, a, I have, I have a feeling I'm not gonna need those anymore. Um, I don't know about the. The Emerald Lantern, because the there's still maybe someone that's out there trying to curse our boat, I guess. There's someone trying to sabotage. They, they kind of glossed over that, I think. But we can do it. <clears throat> We're almost there, though. Uh, as far as I can tell, these are the last two items that we need to do the dream thing. And then from there, we should do just fine. So there's another quest involving penguins. I didn't know that. Uh, 
travel Pirate's Cove. And then I need to go up here again. The Lunar Helm. And travel to Captain Bentley. Do 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 All right. I believe I have all the components necessary now. I still don't know what I need these fire runes for, but uh Uh oh, she took the staff. I didn't even realize that. But I have everything that I need. So here we are. Oh wow, I am almost dead. I totally forgot about that. Uh, hi, could you refresh my memory? What am I supposed to be doing? Lunar Helm and the amulet. Well done. I'll take that for safekeeping. Ah, you have everything. Good work. Now I'm going to give you some magic kindling from the first magic tree that ever grew. I shall also give you back your ceremony clothes, which I grant you to put on. Or want you to put on. Take hold of the lunar staff and put your potion on this kindling and burn it with a giant brazier in the town center. If you've done this correctly, you'll be transported to the Land of Dreams. I can't help you from there on. It all depends on your understanding of yourself. Good luck. Thanks. Alright. So I need to wear all that stuff and then pour this on the kindling and burn it in the pyre. I can do that. I should also probably stand in the bank for a, for a hot second to heal myself back up. Um, I remember back when- whoop. Ooh, let's not knock my- <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, I remember back when my- or when the banks didn't heal you when you stood in them. And we're healed. Okay, cool. Uh, let's wear all this stuff. And then wield the lunar staff. And then use the waking vial on the kindling. And use the kindling on the brazier. Oh, I need to open the door first. Open the door, get on the floor, everybody burn the kindling. Uh, oh, I need to light it, okay. There we go. Now I can use the kindling on the brazier. Ooh. Huh? W where am I? Read my life. You sure want to read and return to reality? No, okay. Uh, what's going on? You don't know? You're in the land of your own dreams. But, you know, you, you're a dream whilst dreaming? You'd wake up. Well, this is a waking sleep. Okay, so how do I wake up? Just use this lectern. The book of your life. For all that has been and the, the blank pages for all that will be. In reading this, you will return to your mind and reality and the conscious world. Well, that seems very deep. What am I supposed to do now? That is totally up to you. This is a test. It wouldn't be fair if I gave you the answers now, would it? But I can tell you that there's a selection of tasks you can choose from. I like to call them a game of chance. Communicating in numbers. Chop, chop, chop away. Where am I? The race is open and anything you can do. This is the strangest place I have ever been. Then you do not know your mind too well, do you? Good point. Alright, so I guess I just have to do each of these then? <laughs> Ethereal expert. Uh, this looks like an interesting island. Oh, it is. Fancy a race? What? That's a bit of a sudden. What kind of race? I bet I can beat you to the other end of this island. I'll take the left route and you can take the right. That doesn't seem fair. Mine's all curvy and you're just straight. Well, that's life, I'm afraid. It's never as easy as you would like. But it's a path that is the dealt. If you insist... You'll see. So how about it? Okay. Uh, on your marks, get set, go. Jump over the hurdle. Whoa, okay. Jump over the hurdle. That guy is pretty slow, so whoa. That is cool. Is he going to speed up as we go? 
or are we just, you know, going? Alright, this works, I guess. And we are here at the end. I did it. I won! Ooh, how could you beat me? Very well. I'm just making the most of the abilities I've worked hard to develop, that's all. True, a very important thing to remember. Now be gone. Okay, so I have to do each of these islands. Cool. Alright, so this one is... You'll need to have the interesting care of the center of what you just learned first. Okay. I get it. Hi. Have you learned anything? Well, I found myself in a sort of race course, facing an opponent. He had a straight route to travel, but mine was weaving and littered with obstacles. He had it pretty easy, and I seemed to have had the hard route, but I still beat him. And what lesson do you suppose that teaches? I had a more difficult path to travel, but I was the faster and wanted it more. I hurried through while he just walked. That shows me a few things. Not all paths are easy to take, but... If you want to succeed and willing to put in the effort, you can come out successful. Very, very good. Alright, moving on to this... I'm assuming this is chop, chop, chop. Ethereal pers uh, perceptive. Log pile. Hello. Hello, young sir. Do you, you like me toys? Toys. Oh, tro trees. Yeah, troys. They're very nice. You seem to be even chopping some down. Well, hey, yeah. Hey, you want to chop them troys? I don't know. You don't know. You got to know what you can do, or you just judge you need to practice or learn. Fine. I can chop down trees. Okay, chop logs and pile them in the center. First to 20 wins. So I have to chop down trees and place 20 logs in the center first. First to do so wins. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, you got a hatchet? Not on me, no. Well, you gotta chop them troys. I can give you a bronze hatchet, but not more. Thanks. Alright. Uh, let's chop the dream tree. Uh, oh, one. Oh, is he gonna take one at a time? Yeah, okay. I see what's going on here. Two logs. Excuse you. Deposit log pile. Oh, the one in the center. Okay, that one counted already. Okay, I get it. Alright, so this is how I'm supposed to do it. I'm supposed to do one at a time. And then, uh, from there... <laughs> Fantastic. That'd be cool if you could use dream logs as like be, be, you could I, that'd be cool if you could use dream logs, I guess. I could just put that cl close that statement off there. There we go. Eight more logs. Oh wait, no, that didn't count the first one because I already had four. How did he start off with two? That's two more logs for them Troys. I like the sound these make. Doom, 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 doom. So there's eight, twelve. Okay, so we got twelve. We're almost there. <laughs> two more log- two more logs from them Troys. And... this will be 16. And then I won't have to get a whole f set here I, after this next one. And... chopped. 16, 19, 20. Oh, no, I do need to get one more whole set. That works for me. He's got 10. Yeah, we're almost twice as fast as he is, so... He's doing one at a time, or two at a time, maybe. And... 
There we go. Last one. I did it. Well done. Yeah, I see you have the good command of your boo toys. Thanks. Remember this. You need to know what you can do so you want to learn. And off you go. They just keep keep me the bronze hatchet. Interesting. All right. Let's talk to this guy in the center, tell him what I learned, and then we'll end the episode off there. Oh, I just teleported here. Hi! What have you learned anything? Well, I, I went to an area where I had to cut down trees as fast as I could. I had to do it against another man and we kept asking me questions on what I could achieve. And what is your thoughts on its meaning? This is tricky. I think it was showing me the importance of being able to know my own abilities and having confidence in them. You need this to beat opposition in whatever form that might present itself. I'm very impressed. Alright, well, either way, that's about the time I've got for this episode. Uh, I didn't finish a quest today, so I'm gonna continue on episode three of recording for the day. Um, good night, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!